Hello friends. I am thrilled to welcome you back to Calibration Academy. Whether you're a returning viewer or brand new to the channel, we're so glad to have you here. If you have not hit that subscribe button yet, now is the perfect time to do so. Also be sure to tap that bell icon too, so you will never miss out on any of our new videos. Today's topic is an important one. We'll be diving into the fundamental differences between absolute pressure, gauge pressure, and vacuum pressure. These are essential concepts in the world of calibration, and understanding them can really level up your knowledge. Stick around until the end and I promise you'll leave with some valuable insights. Have you ever wondered how pressure is measured? Let's break it down into three types. Absolute pressure, gauge pressure, and vacuum pressure. Let's start with, absolute pressure. Absolute pressure measured relative to a perfect vacuum, or zero pressure. It combines atmospheric pressure, and any additional pressure from a system. For example, if the atmospheric pressure is 101.3 kPa and the system adds 50 kPa, the absolute pressure becomes 151.3 kPa. Next is gauge pressure. Gauge pressure is measured relative to atmospheric pressure. It reflects the amount of pressure in a system above atmospheric pressure. For example, think of a car tire. If it shows a gauge pressure of 50 kPa, it means the pressure inside is 50 kPa above atmospheric pressure. Finally, vacuum pressure, it is also measured relative to atmospheric pressure. However, it reflects the amount of pressure in a system below atmospheric pressure. For example, if the atmospheric pressure is 101.3 kPa, and the system's absolute pressure is 80 kPa, the vacuum pressure is 21.3 kPa. As you can see, absolute pressure is calculated as, absolute pressure is equal to atmospheric pressure plus gauge pressure. And gauge pressure is equal to absolute pressure minus atmospheric pressure. Last but not the least, vacuum pressure is equal to atmospheric pressure minus absolute pressure. Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope this video has helped clarify these pressure types and their roles in the world around us. Feel free to share any questions or thoughts about this video in the comment section below. We're here to help and would love to hear from you.